Hello everyone, my name is Sami from ERP Hub. Today I will be discussing the product Zoho Desk. I will walk you through the application today and show you how it can be beneficial for businesses. Let's get started. Streamline and automate your customer experience with Zoho Desk today, a customer service application tool designed to help you manage support and engagement with your existing customers. This tool can be used to manage inbound customer requests from various different channels including email, SMS, and phone. It also provides a framework to publish knowledge-based articles to encourage self-support. Let's get started with Zoho Desk. When you first navigate to Zoho Desk, you'll see the various modules at the top of your screen. If someone is having a problem, it will appear as a ticket on the tickets module. You can sort and categorize these tickets various different ways by clicking here and sorting them how you would like to view them. When you click on the ticket, on the left side, you can see all of the information regarding the ticket, including information pulled from the CRM if Zoho Desk is already integrated with it. On the right side, you can see the body message and see what the customer needs help with, and this is where you're going to be resolving all those problems that the customer is having. Across the top, you can see there's various other tabs that can be used to track the activity of the ticket, which I will be discussing later. On the Knowledge Base tab, this is where you can build answers to the questions that are being asked. As you're solving these tickets, you are able to document and publish these articles, which makes it easier for people to access later. On the Customers tab, you can view a list of your customers, and when you click on a specific customer, you can view various different information, including how many tickets they have, the amount of overdue tickets, and other information as well. The chat, community, and social modules allow you to collaborate and communicate with your customers and other agents. And under activities, you can find tasks that are open inside of Zoho Desk. As you're getting started with Zoho Desk, you need to ask yourself if you need multiple departments, and if you do, who will be a part of each of these departments? To create a new department, navigate to the setup icon on the top right, and under general, click departments. Here you can view the various departments that have already been created in the system, and to create a new department, click on this button on the top right. Start off by giving a department name. Here you can further customize by adding a logo and even adding agents to the specific department. Once you're done, click configure channels. Once you're taken to the next page, the system will ask for an email address where customers will send emails to create tickets. And if you click Agents, under here, this is where you can add agents and adjust the permissions that they have within the department. On the Tickets module, there are various ways to view your tickets. If you hover over here, you have Classic, Compact, and Table. The biggest difference between these is how big the rows are and what data will appear when you select them. If you're working with many tickets that are quickly resolvable, then you want to view your tickets as compact or table. However, if you're not doing high volume ticket management, then the best way to view your tickets is probably classic. If you hover over the countdown mode and click the un arrow tab, you can see that there's other ways that you can categorize your tickets. Status mode groups your tickets by the status of the ticket. Handshake groups them based on the types of things going on with that contact and count inside the CRM. And countdown in priority mode categorizes a ticket by when it's due or what kind of priority the tickets are assigned. Now I will be entering a ticket and showing you how to interact with it. When you click on the ticket, on the left side you can view various information regarding the ticket. You can see who was it assigned to and you can also adjust the status of the ticket here. Under the conversation tab, this serves similar to how an email works. This is where you can respond to the ticket and communicate with the ticket creator. To reply, you would just click here and reply to the message. Under resolution, you can create resolutions for various support requests. That way, when the customer is having the issue, again, they can trace back to how their problem was resolved. You can also add this information directly to the knowledge base as an article, which can be useful for repeat issues. The time entry tab is used to track time. The attachment tab is used to attach documents or images pertinent to the ticket. Under the activity tab, you can manage tasks for that ticket. 
Under approval, you can create a workflow that requires approval from a manager before moving on to the next stage of a ticket. And lastly, the history tab can be used to track a ticket and also used for quality auditing. A lot of the power on Zoho Desk originates from the workflow automations. To create a workflow, you would navigate to the setup icon on the top right and under automation, click workflows. This is where you can view a full list of all the workflows that have already been created in the system associated to the various departments that are on your Zoho desk. To create a new rule, you would click on this button on the top right. We need to create a workflow so when an agent responds to a ticket, the ticket will automatically change the status to on hold. The first step is to choose the module that is associated with the workflow that you want to create. In this case, it would just stay on tickets. Next, we need to come up with a rule name to identify our workflow. And once you're done with all that basic information, you can click on next. We want this workflow to execute when an agent responds to a ticket. Here you can set further criteria to when you want this rule to execute. In this case, we don't need any criteria. And lastly, this is where you set the actions to be performed once that trigger is met. Here we want a field update. And here we can set our status to on hold once that agent responds to the ticket. And once you click save, that workflow has been created. You can also create another workflow that marks the status of a ticket to open when the client responds. These two workflows are the main workflows that are universally existed in every client's desk install. You can even create a workflow that escalates a ticket when certain words are on a subject line. There's a lot you can do with workflows and it's what allows Zoho Desk to be so powerful. Scale and grow your business with Zoho Desk today. For more information on Zoho, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.